talk to me I really wanna know what you All right, you guys, welcome to another episode of the Green Tea Room, brought to you by Tea Time Unfiltered. We have to take a small break. Uh, Spotify was having some issues with their platform. They're still working out a bunch of the bugs. The episode that we did about a week and a half ago, um, where we talked about the baby and a whole bunch of other stuff, that episode has been lost. (laughs) I've had so many people at Spotify trying to find it. And right now they cannot find the episode. So I was like, okay, whatever. So we're just going to move on. Hopefully we'll be able to get tonight's episode. But um, it's a lot going on in this world. When I tell you, I'm really happy to see you guys. My life has been very chaotic as of late with the move and getting unpacked and getting things installed in the house. And it's been a lot. I was really sick yesterday, but I feel better today. So I was like, I have to do something. I want to either get on the green room, do a Zoom meeting, go live, do something. But uh, we hadn't done a green room meeting in a while. And I wanted to hear from, you know, people about a lot of the stuff that's going on here. So I hope you guys are doing good this evening. And I appreciate y'all for coming through. Thank you so much. And so I have my co-host here with me, Rejoice. So Rejoice is on the line. So there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, I want to kind of mix up the topic, everything from you know, Phelan coming out this evening and announcing that she's pregnant. Um, If you guys don't know who Phelan is, she's the one that supposedly Portia, she was married to Simon Gabata, however you say his name, and then Portia stole her husband. But then he was saying months ago that she was knocked up. Now she's confirming it. So it's a whole bunch of mess with that. Then we have everything that's going on with the Taliban basically taking over Afghanistan. Um, all that drama and how I feel like this is going to have an impact globally, not just what's going on in Afghanistan. It's going to trickle to the U.S. as well, because guess who's rolling out the red carpet to the Taliban? China and Russia. Hmm, How convenient. So I want to hear about that. And then it was announced today that uh, Facebook and Instagram are removing racist and fat phobic comments directed at Lizzo on their platforms. So Lizzo and Cardi B dropped a song, um, I believe last week, called Rumors. Um, You know, some people really love it. Some people don't. But a lot of folks really went in on Lizzo, talked about her looks, her body. It got to the point where she broke down crying online. So now these social media platforms are trying to basically censor, because that's what it is. They're censoring and removing uh, racist and fat phobic comments. Now, them for removing that my issue is why does it take for Lizzo to break down crying <laughs> how many times have I, have I been called racist names and all types of niggers and you know just the most worst things but because I'm a regular smuggler person it's like oh just tough it up you're a strong black woman but then it seems like whenever a celebrity is complaining or they go through something now we have to implement change all of this should have been done for regular people regular people are fat shamed all the time you know what I'm saying? Regular folks are called ugly and, you know, all types of just belittling things on social media. So why does it take for Lizzo to break down crying for these platforms to want to change their ways? I mean, y'all have seen me battling with trolls over the years. So I'm not lying, you know. So I just, I find, I, I don't know, I just find it kind of insulting that it took for a celebrity to break down crying for them to want to change things that happen on their platforms. So we're going to go ahead and talk about it, honey. So rejoice. Go ahead and unmute your microphone. Hey, everyone. <laughs> How you doing this evening? I'm doing good. So what what is the first topic going to be touching on? Child, let's go ahead and talk about this whole Phelan situation. You know, m- remember when I did that live stream, when she interviewed with that white man? I keep forgetting the name of his platform, honey. And I was saying, all of this shit just seems contrived. Even the person that she chose to interview with. You chose to interview all the with people, a, right? Instead of we going don't even like know Wendy him. Williams, he went to this random dude, and I kept saying the interview felt fake. It felt forced, and the fact that she was trying her hardest not to really say anything bad about Portia or throw her under the bus. Now they're coming out with this whole pregnancy thing. To me, makes me feel like all of this was all part of a storyline. 
Her and Simon were both fucking around on each other, honey. <laughs> Let's keep yeah, that. Yeah, I. So I feel like she went to that guy's um what platform, whatever it was on, but she went there because she knew if she went to Wendy Williams, Wendy Williams will be on her ass. Okay, Wendy Williams will be. I heard the toughest questions, and we would have seen um Thalen stumbling around trying to figure out how to cover up some stuff. Yeah, and I definitely agree. So I want to go ahead and play you guys uh, the interview that she did today where she's talking about this situation. So I hope you guys can hear. Let me go ahead and play for you guys right now. This is where she's announcing that she's knocked up. So Jalen and I will actually be having a baby. Jalen and I are expecting, and um, <laughs> we're expecting. Yay. We're adding another little one to the crazy bunch. Yay! My first. It is Jalen's first baby, so welcome aboard. We are so happy to have you. Thank you, thank you. I did hey. not realize this was gonna be this nerve wracking to say, like, out loud. You were up yeah. there and we got yeah, yeah, something yeah. happened. Yeah. <laughs> something happened. <laughs> like, oh, no. oh my God. Two minutes. Oh my God. Two minute video. Moving right along, um, I, do, I do realize that you know, a lot of you and a lot of the blogs have somewhat caught wind of our little news. Um, we just wanted to make sure that we made it past the two month mark. You know, you're not really supposed to, or they say mm -hmm. you're not really supposed to mention a pregnancy before that point. Um, due to, well, for me, it's like bad luck. I'm very superstitious like that. I just didn't want to risk anything. Um, but now that we are past that point, we are expecting. All right, y'all. I hope y'all were able to hear that. Basically, she's saying that her and Jalen are having a baby. It's his first child, so he don't have no other kids. She has about four children. So I believe this is her fifth child that she's having. I think she has like three different baby daddies, but I just find the whole situation just super messy. And her and Jalen look like siblings. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but they look like brother and sister. But I just find it very funny that now she's coming out with this when Simon said months ago that she was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? And I did think that Simon was over exaggerating or lying, you know, to try and excuse his behavior with Portia. But obviously, Simon was not lying. He was telling the truth because now she's coming out with everything. I just, you know, it doesn't, and I see people saying that, well, that absolved Portia what she did, being that she's pregnant by Jalen, so that means that she had to have been cheating too. To me, it doesn't absolve Portia. I feel like all of these people have a few screws loose, in my personal opinion. I think they're all crazy. I think they all need to just leave each other alone because clearly they try to use each other to get some fame, but it's not looking good on either side. No, it's not. I think right now they're all uh, struggling. Um, if people, if you can't hear, you'll need to come out of the app and go back in because it seems like everybody else can hear. Can you hear me just fine, Rejoice? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Yeah, it's only one person who just, keeps saying they can't hear. Yeah, they just probably need to come out and then come back in. Yeah. You can't help the one person. All right, so let me go ahead and take some calls here. We got a few people calling in. Um, let me go ahead and bring on Marianelle. I removed the speaker. Can you hear me better now? Okay, that's yeah, yeah that's a lot yeah, better. That's better. Okay, sure. Um, I just wanted to say I don't know. I just feel like nobody is looking at two things in this whole Portia Simon and Phelan situation. Is that both of them? I feel like they came to the show looking for some fame, and now that this entire thing didn't work out, have you seen how quick 
Simon took over this entire Porsche show because in case you guys are not aware, some pictures came out today of the Porsche spin-off. And in all of them, like in, at, at this point, 100% of them is Simon and Porsche, Simon and the kids, Simon and um, touring a party, <laughs> Simon giving a gift, Simon's with PJ sitting on his lap. I don't know if that's his kid or not. I don't know if you guys know, is Simon and his stepkid in Porsche's house doing a tour or whatever it is. And it's just like, it is just so, I don't know. You guys go check the pictures on Bravo or go check the Bravo chat room. That's where you guys are going to see all the pictures. And I don't know if Porsche is smart or if she's that dumb because you, Porsche used to be dumb back in the days. But clearly Simon is using her for some fame. And it is Bye. just... I it's kind of like <laughs> it's, it's sad that as a grown-ass woman who's 40 years old, Portia cannot see that she's being used for fame. Because when I told you guys Simon has taken over, Simon has taken over. At this point, is the Simon show, not even the Portia and Simon show. And it's mm. just so sad. Another thing that I want to throw out there just because I was watching, I, I think we talk about it, see all the videos that I watch and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys saw, first saw the tattoo that Portia revealed when she revealed that she had Simon's name tattooed on her neck. Mm-hmm. And in that picture, she had her short hair, right? When mm-hmm. did Portia do that short hair? She did it for the reunion. When did the reunion air? The reunion air in December. But they only separated in, Jan- in January, February. So I don't know if you guys pay attention to that or if I'm the only one who's a fan of Free Housewife and some other fans who pay attention to that tattoo. Plus, she did a live back in December and she was talking to the people. Since she was driving, she turned her head. You know, when you're driving and you have to look, there's a car coming before you change yeah. lane. She turned her head and that live is still on her page right now. If you guys go back all the way to December and you mm-hmm. can see the tattoo right there back in December. So she's had that tattoo for a while then. She has that tattoo for a while. And it's so crazy. People point out the tattoo in the live and she still has not removed the live from her page. So mm. I feel like both of them has been <laughs> cheating for a very, very long time. When Fallon was at home in February um, for Valentine's Day that she claimed, and there was Simon was posting picture in Miami on its own. Portia was posting picture in Miami on her own. But nobody ever put two and two together at this time to be like, oh, they're together because they didn't make the announcement back then. <laughs> they make the announcement only in March. <laughs> but Fallon was at home crying. Well, I think she was maybe crying or screwing Jalen. I don't know. She was February fourteen, and make Simon was spending Valentine's Day with Portia. You said what, man? Now. It's crazy how Simon was spending Valentine's Day with Portia, but they only announced their engagement, their engagement relationship in March. I don't know if I'm just a fan of Real Housewife, and that's why I saw all of this mess. But both of them are just two people looking for fame. The sneak peek that you saw, by the way, see, it's from her own show. Because in case you don't know, she has her own show on YouTube now. Who does? Who? Portia? Fallon. Fallon. Oh, Wait, I didn't what? know that. Yeah, she has Where her own show on this? YouTube now. I don't well, know. You know when, got... thing, well, you know when TV don't work out, everybody runs to create a YouTube yeah, channel. You right. You right. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not surprised. Show. Her own TV show with Jalen and the kids and everything like that. Oh, oh just Jalen do because he, he literally he looks very young. He looks like he's like her brother. What is he Honestly, doing for a living? He's obviously he... not a millionaire. Not at all. And just to correct you quickly, Fallon has three boys by three baby daddies and not four. So this kid that she has right now is about to be her fourth one. So this is her fourth baby daddy. Her fourth kid, her fourth baby daddy, and her fourth boy as well. Oh, oh wow. Mmm. Mmm. Aileen is I guess, honey. Hopping everywhere. Yep. I mean, that she's not cute. complaining. Um, nobody's complaining about anything. We haven't heard about the baby daddies complaining or nothing. So they probably it's going to be interesting some type of deal, but <laughs> 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 they got some type of deal where Phelan's Ooh, like, man, okay. now came with the with the Phelan tea. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm a real Hasselhoff yeah, fan, so I do watch the show and I do Look, know J- like a lot of Jay Bay just made a perfect statement. Said that is what you call pretty privilege. It is yep. because if she if she was if she was a ratchet looking, just you know, just basic people are like, uh uh-uh, she got four baby daddy, she a hood rat, but because she's pretty, they're not gonna everybody call her ignores the fact. Because you haven't even seen it really noted that she has four baby daddies. You just told me something. I thought it was at least three, but it's so yeah. pretty privilege strikes again. Yep. <laughs> 
Yeah, but oh, today, oh, don't oh. even waste your time to go watch the show on YouTube. It's very boring. I only watch one episode because, again, I'm a fan of Real Housewives and I tune out. It's just, like, very boring. Yeah, I'm not watching. I'm not interested in yeah. her, I'm, Simon, I'm, Portia. I'm just not interested in none of these weirdo storylines at all. Really not. Because they're not, they're not good storylines. Like, it's not something you'd be like, okay, let me watch because this girl got some banging um, storyline and I need to figure out what's going to happen next. Like, they, all, all it's about is everybody cheating and lying about when they cheated. Basically. Basically. But it still stuck, um, sucks that Phelan is not allowed to go back on Real Housewives. So the only side that we will have, basically, is just Portia and Simon. If she goes back on Real Housewives, because she still refused to sign the contract. Some people say it's out of fear because everybody's going to jump her from whatever is happening. And she wants to protect her um, relationship because it's so important to her, she says. So that's why she's mm-hmm. not sure if she wants to come back on Real Housewives. But yet again, she has a spin-off coming out, so... It's going to be interesting. Well, thank you so much for calling in, Marianella. I appreciate it. No problem. All right. We'll talk to you later. All right. We're going to go ahead and bring up some more speakers. Marianelle came through with the hot tea because I didn't know all of that stuff was going on with them. That I was wasn't too expecting funny. that. Mm-mm. I was not expecting that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let me go ahead and bring on Shirley Bossy Cat. You're coming to the stage. Good. Hey, T. I didn't even expect to eat a pick me. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. I love your channel. And um, hey to all the tea sippers or whatever. But she just dropped the tea. I wanted to make a quick um uh comment about the whole situation. For me, I feel like they are normalizing some really shady stuff that's mm. already been going on in Atlanta, like the cheating, the swapping and stuff like that. But specifically because this has hit the blog so big, I feel like Portia is really going to have a platform to normalize the shenanigans. You know what I mean? Right. In my opinion, she is trifling whether or not... Um, Fallon was faithful. This is still a marriage. You get what I'm saying? And if they was doing something that wasn't really good, they could have divorced and then nobody would have had anything to say. Exactly. Considering the fact that Portia herself has been on this show openly crying, openly making herself a victim, openly saying things like, oh my gosh, being a victim. And then because she's pretty bringing up the pretty privilege, everybody excuses it. So now that she has a platform to make all her shenanigans look like it's legit, look like it's, what is that going to do to the, you know, excuse me for saying it, but the birds that don't have, you know, the common sense God gave a rat to break up everybody else's homes. Like they are really, and I love Real Housewives, but they are mm-hmm. creeping down a uh, avenue that I'm really not feeling. I'm not like this is down in the dirty, dirty, dirty depths of you know stuff that happens in Atlanta. Like, Yo, what's up? hey, tea sippers! To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher. Tuned in or anchorfm.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.